All right, hang on to your hats and glasses for this one. The Ravagers are in town. Can we have a repeat performance of that thousand yard explosion in week one as Michael Vick returns and hopes to take advantage of the worst ranked defense in the league. Oakland coming into here ranked 32nd. The 72 year old head coach Dick Vermeil looks to take advantage of that as Vegas comes in here on a three game losing streak. But Michael Vick is back at the helm. But the Ravagers start with the ball first. It's Andrew Walter, the fourth year quarterback out of Arizona State, finding Donald Driver second down and 10. Walter floats this one out to Clinton Portis, the veteran running back from the U. First and 10 near midfield, over the middle to Corn Robinson, came into this game injured, but was listed as probable. Third down and five, plenty of time, and it hits off the fullback Powers Neal. Bring out the 28-year-old Billy Cundiff from 53 yards out is good. And the Ravagers up 3-0 to start this one off. There's Vic back. Third down and five. Cullen Audibles out route to Reggie Lewis. Pushed back and they call it a fourth down. Fourth and one at our own 31. Halfway through the first quarter. We're going for it because we got wheels like this. Vic is back and the defense is just as dumb as ever. Sliders turned all the way up, but they have no idea what we do all the time. Rookie Josh Hyman with the catch there for first down. And then there's Lance Moore at the 25-yard line. First down and 10 for Vegas. Rolling out. Vic with the speed. Finds that one into Rudy Johnson. And is caught at the 6-yard line. Second and goal. Vic, shocky touchdown show. Little hiccup there with the fourth down. Easily got it. Break out the blackface. Michael Vick is back, baby. And we're ready to go on another run. Walter out of the play action. Finds Rashawn Powers Neal in the flat. And it's good for a first down. Second and 10 here. Walter floats this one out to Driver. And the Ravagers in Vegas territory. And the first quarter, it's 7 3 show. Third down and three. Quickly out is picked off by Ed Reed. The 40, the 30. And Clinton Portis going to be able to catch him, but not before. He's down inside the 20 yard line. Play action outside to Anquan Bolden. Vegas down to the five as first and goal. Vic curl route. Bolden touchdown show. Don't give us anything. We will attack. Vic back. And better than ever. Second and five for the Ravagers. It's Corn Robinson with the catch. Second and six now. And gets this one off. The driver breaks a tackle. And is knocked down right on top of the Magic Hat. First and ten. Ravagers over the middle to Robinson. Having himself a day. Coming into this thing a little banged up. First and ten. And Walter finds Josh Sherman. He's going to score. And are we going to do this again? My goodness, 14 to 10 in this one. Shockey hit, but not before he gets the first down. It's third and seven. Vic out or out to Shockey. And he's breaking tackles inside that 30, the 25, and out of bounds at the 21. First and 10 show. Vic rolling out and finds the rookie, Jonathan Stupar. And he's down at the one. It's first and goal show. Vic out of the play action, and he's going to take it in himself. Eighth touchdown run of the year. Still leads the league in that department. Do the layup over the goal post. And Vegas up 21 to 10. Fumbles the ball! But the Ravagers able to recover at the 41. Three minutes to go here in the second quarter. Oh my goodness! Corin Robinson with the catch. Andrew Walter. He's dealing besides the one interception. There's Driver. Third down and five. First play out of the two-minute warning. And it's knocked away by Justin Wyatt. You have to settle for the short field goal. Kick is up and good. 21 to 13. And with a minute 51, can Vic lead us on another drive? Wide open is Anquan Bolden. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 38-yard line. And he points at the Oakland sideline. Second down and four. Vic rolling out. Clear out that side of the field. He's out of bounds at the Oakland 35. First and 10. Play action. Rolling out. Back into the middle of the field. And it's picked off. 
David Thornton, we always find this guy in these games. All right, minute 15 for Walter finds Robinson having himself an incredible afternoon. 95 yards receiving. And cool a touchdown! The rookie Devin Hall, two plays. The Ravengers go 70 yards, I think. Two-point conversion. The handoff to Portis is easily good. Spins in there. And we're tied at 21, 47 seconds as Anquan Bolden is left alone in the flat once again. 44 seconds. Vic outside the Reggie Lewis, and he's tackled at the 46. 30 seconds. Third down and five. Vic finds Rashawn Woods, and he's knocked down at the 27. Vegas calls their final timeout with 24 seconds on the clock. And finds Jeremy Shockey, and he's out of bounds at the six with 20 seconds on the clock. Vic. Lance Moore, touchdown show. 30 seconds to go right downfield. The team's combined for 560 yards in that first half as we are on pace for another 1,000-yard explosion. It's 28-21 to 21 as Vic is sacked by Warren Sapp. Sapp knocked Vic out of the last game in week one. Third down and 18, we're not going to have room to run, and we're finally going to have to punt the ball. Guess that went off the driver, and they're already across midfield. Walter, all freaking day to throw. I could never do that in the pocket. I would panic my ass off, the anxious self that I am. First and 10 out to Josh Sherman, the Dave Show alumni. Third down and inches. Walter floats this one up and has batted out of the air by, was that Nick Barnett? Was that 56? Kunda from 41 yards out is good. And it's 28 to 24 near the halfway point of the third quarter. Lance Moore on the curl route. It's first down and 10 for Vegas as we run into a sack. Raynock Thompson gets it. Third down and 19. Clear out that side of the field. Defense never has a spy for the league leader in rushing yards and rushing touchdowns. Second and 10, and it's picked off! Raynock Thompson off the ricochet. And we have two interceptions in this one to get Vic to 11 on the year. Second and 10, it's the fourth year fullback. Rashawn Powers Neal with a big time run there, gets him inside the 35. Second down and nine for Walter outside to Ryan Moore. Fumbles the ball and is picked up by the fourth year safety. It's Mike Singletary's son in law, the Canadian born Ashiomago Atogwe, taking it the distance 70 yards. Touchdown show. The defensive touchdown is Justin Wyatt that forced the fumble. Walter comes out dealing though. And we end the third quarter 35 to 24. Third down and eight over the middle to Ryan Moore. Hangs on to it this time despite the big hit. Third down and seven. Walter looking end zone. Come on! Donald Driver with two guys on him. Doesn't celebrate. Nobody celebrates. It's business like for the Ravagers. Portis kept out for the two point conversion. So it's 35 to 30 here in the early stages of the fourth quarter as Vic is sacked again. Alex Brown doing his push-ups, my favorite sack celebration. Brings up second down and 17. The out route to Shockey gets all those yards back and then some. Third down and eight. Vic rolling out to the left and is sacked. The offense. Shut out to this point in the second half. Walter is sacked. Nick Barnett able to get there. And it's going to bring up second down and 15. Walter looking and finds Josh Sherman. First down, Ravagers. This play second and four. Play action. Finds Corin Robinson. And how are these guys three and seven? Third down and four, and this time it's batted away by Asante Samuel. Fourth and four, and they're going for it. Less than three minutes to go. Walter, and it's Asante Samuel again. Turnover on downs. Can we 
uh, waist down this final 250 on the clock back into the middle of the field but finds Rudy Johnson inches short of the line to gain and Vic is going to get that and then some slide down how about that Alec we are a master at that now two minute warning Vic rolling out again and a slide again fan Oakland calls their first time out with a buck 54 outside to Jeremy Shockey I love those out routes I audible to them all the time and the Ravagers call their second time out Alex Brown hot on Vic's trail sacked again and we waste the clock down to 108 Vic backpedaling out to Stupar and he dives down and gets those yards back then some the computer wants me to kneel on third and eight with a minute four, but I think I can get this first down. Clear out that side of the field. And Vic's taking it. Fumbles the ball! And they pick it up! And go out of bounds at the one. <coughs> Offs the ball out. Nobody on him. And can Andrew Walter lead a 99-yard drive from his end zone? Finds Sherman over the middle and then spikes the ball with 45 seconds on the clock. Second down and 10 for the Ravagers. God! Corn Robinson, they're all the way up to the 36. Spike the ball, but takes a hit. 33 seconds on the clock. Walter all day to throw, going deep downfield, and is knocked away by a trio of show. Third down and 10. Walter, they're gonna go short this time to Jason Randall. Look like a horse collar. And then Randall takes forever to get back to the line. And then they spike the ball with 12 seconds to go. What the hell's he doing? Walter, only a three-man rush going deep downfield. And it's knocked away. Seven seconds on the clock. Third and 10, five, four, three, two, one. He heaves it for the end zone. And it falls incomplete. Ugh. <sighs> The losing streak is over. And another classic with a rival Oakland Ravagers. 879 yards this time. Not quite the 1,000 last time. Vic having an excellent season throwing the ball. Leads the league in quarterback rating. So we're not just a running team. To all you haters out there, though, Vic, another 112-yard day. Leads the league in rushing yards and rushing touchdowns. Jeremy Shockey, 6 for 91, and another touchdown. He leads the league in touchdown receptions with 13. Huge day out of Andrew Walter, 32 of 53 for 467, three TDs and a pick. And huge days from the veteran receivers, Donald Driver and Corin Robinson. Marcus Harwell goes down. Ben Roethlisberger in relief. Dallas 9-2, best record in the league, blows out Pittsburgh. Carolina slaughters San Diego, so we are in sole possession of first place in the AFC West. Phillip Rivers, five picks in the losing effort for the Knights. He leads the league in passing yards, his first year starting in this league, taking over for the retired Tommy Maddox. But the Knights are 6-5 on the year. We've been playing them twice a year, once in the regular season and each in the playoffs the last two years. And we've kicked our ass every single time. Let's do it again! Alright guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you at the next show.